We start with this medium black ABS cement and I'm going to apply it to both surfaces that I'm going to glue not because it's important for adhesion but because it's important to f make sure that there's enough glue to fill any gaps because this assembly needs to be waterproof. Instead of the ABS cement it would be just as effective to use a PVC cement or probably a C PVC cement. And I'm using a Q-tip to do the application so that I don't make too big of a mess. I'm inserting the parts and then I'm going to just twist them to try to spread the glue to any of the gap areas. Right here you're going to see I'm inspecting the glue after it's been cured. And uh, you can see from the screwdriver that it's, that it's hardened equal to the plastic. This is the pro weld we're applying to try to fill in any gaps because uh, the 3D prints admittedly have some porosity or they have some gaps in between extrusions that can allow water to pass. What you just saw was a kind of a rough sealing surface because that surface had an overhang and the o-ring is in place though so it's going to still make a waterproof connection once you've threaded in the brass component and now i'm testing this sub-assembly actually this came earlier than the white pvc component making sure that the water spread out nicely this ring here in the photo in the video is uh, is just a placeholder for the foam and the foam is going to do the job of kind of equalizing the water pressure uh, along the flow this o-ring is in place and then I'm tightening down the piece of acrylic and here's one of the first tests of the whole assembly with water. Now I'm aiming to get all the water into this five gallon bucket. When you crank up the pressure a lot, it actually does uh, exit through the bottom so it can use some more glue.